Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and I'm with Skyline Acres. Um, what I wanted to show you guys today is something that I feel like has been super helpful on our homestead and, and more helpful um, in, in more ways that I ever could have imagined. Um, and maybe, maybe it'll be something that, that you guys could find helpful as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, so here's what I'm talking about. And I'm not so much talking about the four-wheeler um, as much as the spraying setup on the back. And the reason I think that you guys could find this somewhat helpful is because one thing we probably all have in common is we have a decent amount of land. And, um, you know, we, we have needs for, for uh, spraying things. We have needs for water. Um, we're not just in distance of a water hose all the time, etc. So most of you guys are probably thinking I'm going to talk about the traditional uses with one of these sprayers, um, which is this particular one has two functions. You have a wand, okay, which is here and this pulls off. And what I do is, is drive on the four wheeler and hold the wand and I spray these fence lines, okay? You can see where I sprayed them. So a lot of you guys know about that. The other thing is, this is called a boomless sprayer. Um, so you know like the, the booms, the big long booms that you spray fields with and so forth? Well, this is boomless. So this sprayer here with this nozzle, it will put a fan of spray out 14 feet wide. And I didn't know, we bought it mainly for the for spraying our fence lines. And I didn't know how well the boomless portion would work. But let me tell you, we used to get our hay field sprayed and now we do it ourselves. You can cover actually quite a bit of ground with this thing. Refilling it's not that bad and so forth. So that's the two functions you probably know about. This tank holds 26 gallons um i've got a deep cycle battery here etc so like i say that's probably what you've known or heard about with these but what i actually want to talk about is less common uses with the sprayer with a sprayer like this um but what i find myself doing mostly with it. So when we moved to our homestead eight or nine years ago, um, we basically had a blank slate, okay? There was no fencing, there was no barn, there was no landscaping, nothing. Um, so we've had to establish all of that over the years. And I'm gonna be honest with you, most of it I couldn't have done without this rig right here. When you're talking you know, planting, we probably planted 30 trees, like, I'm, you know, nice trees, um, nice trees. Uh, we've put some trees down by the road. We have a campground down here. We've established trees down there. You know, I'm, I'm talking trees that are out of range of, of like a house in a neighborhood with a water hose. Um, we've watered grass with this rig. We've, um, established flowers like down by the road um, different things with this rig and so forth so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today is kind of the the non-traditional uses and I think I'm gonna split this video up into two parts I think today I'm gonna show you how I use this rig to um, water grass remotely and then I think in part two, I think this is a super cool way uh, or a super cool thing to show you. I'm going to show you how we um, water and establish trees with this rig. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So right now I'm just filling up the tank here with water. Uh, I just happen to have the hose 
out here now because I'm actually watering some grass over there. But anyways, huh, yeah, look, got some uh, cows resting and it's a cool day out here. So everybody's just kind of enjoying the day. Got a, that's the male uh, goose, the gander. And we have a, a broody, um, a goose setting on eggs right now. But anyways, back to this. The tanks from Northern Tool, they make all a ton of them, guys. And don't don't think, hey, I don't have a four wheeler, I can't do this because they make ones tanks on little small trailers you can pull. Um, I mean, you can. I've seen people adapt these to pickup truck beds. Um, three-point hitch carry-alls on tractors. I mean, all different stuff. So don't get hung up on the four-wheeler. Um, but I do, I will say this about the four-wheeler. And if I find a picture of this, I'll show you. But we used to spray or um, water like trees and so forth. We had a trailer, pretty big trailer that we'd pull with this four-wheeler. And we had a 55-gallon drum on the back. And we would water trees that way. Well, a lot of the places I'm trying to get into, it's tight, you, you know, it, trying to back a trailer in, tight spots, and just different things. I, one time I, I did this method, I said, I'm going to try this instead of the, the other method. And this is, even though, so this is 26 gallons, and a, a drum is like, you know, 55. So this is half the gallons, but it's so much faster. I can get this right exactly where I need it. Um... It's just faster driving the four-wheeler, so if I run out, I can just zoom up to the house real quick and get water, um, all of that. So I will say, I prefer to have everything just right here, not on a trailer, all of that, in a compact format on the four-wheeler, and it's it makes it very efficient to do what I'm doing. And the... Uh, the gander goose is not very happy right now. But anyways, I want y'all to notice, I'm not gonna go into detail right now, but I've got a drain valve here, and the hose threads on these things are just standard garden hose threads. And let's see here, the tank's just ratchet strapped on. Deep cycle battery. Yeah, you got the on off switch here, and you got alligator clips here for hooking it up. Once I get this full, I'll meet you down at the uh, grass and I'm watering and we'll go from there. So if you've seen any other videos on our channel, you'll know that I've been working on this spot down here. And what this is, is the power company came through and put us a new uh, main line from the road down here and, and come down here. And this, they horizontally drilled this and they had to excavate this. Let me flip this around real quick. All right, so here's the spot that you've seen me at. Um, <laughs> I know I said in previous videos that I wasn't gonna water this. I was just gonna let nature do its thing. Um, but it's been an exceptionally dry spring and I said, shoot, let's just, I'm just gonna water it. So here's my, my rig. And there's the area. And I'm just gonna set the camera up and show you guys how I water it. I mean, this this is not that small of an area. I mean, I wouldn't do like a whole yard with this rig, but you'll see it works pretty good. A couple things I wanna point out, just keep in mind, this is the, I'm spraying grass, I'm, I'm watering grass now. So I'm gonna be using the wand here, okay? This is the boomless sprayer. This is for like spraying fields. I'll demonstrate that in the video and you can see how it sprays. But I don't want you guys thinking, because I'm gonna do a, a second part to this video on watering trees, and I don't use either of these things, okay? I don't sit there and hold this on a tree. I don't do that. The tree watering utilizes the 
drain valve here. Let me show you what I'm talking about when I say trees. Um, so we've we've established. I mean, there's one there. I don't know. It's probably we've probably had it four years. Um, but all these other trees here we've put in. There's a uh, couple other ones down there. Okay. All of those trees. I mean, that's only like what five there, but we've got several trees a whole line of trees down by the road all way down over that hump um let me see here i might even see another one up here there's a yoshino cherry up there that i've established um but you get the idea i mean that's we've done like 30 trees like that and the spray and rig has been just critical for that. I mean, I don't really know how you would do it without it. But I want to make a video on that because um, it's just, it might not be exactly what you're thinking. So, anyways, that'll be on part two. Right now, I actually don't, I don't spray a ton of grass with this, like water grass, but it does work great for that. So, and I mean, this is 26 gallons. In this area here, it's way more than enough water. Let me show you what I do. So, take your alligator clips. All right. Get them out of there. Red to positive, black to negative. And so this, the four-wheeler stays in my garage and every night, or every time I pull it into the garage, I have a, a battery tender that I plug this into and just recharge it. This is a deep cycle battery. So then you uh, turn it on here and you'll hear everything come on and it'll kind of pressurize the lines and then it stops. So, and then once you start spraying, it'll, it'll keep pumping. But anyways, let me, uh, let me demonstrate that, um, spray boom real quick. All right, guys, gosh, can't really see it, can you? But I got the spray boom turned around and I got water coming out. My four wheeler's on a hill here, but that thing will spray a 14 foot width. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off, but you get the idea. And I tell you, I actually think it's a great solution for any of you guys with small acres that want to spray your own pasture or hay field or anything. I mean, you, you can cover a decent amount of land with this. So I just want to just want to show y'all. I'm not going to be talking about spraying fence lines and fields and stuff really in these videos, but I want to show you that you definitely can and actually this is a better view of the fence i think well you got the shadow there but i sprayed that the other day with this rig and guys the reason we have to spray is because we have electric fence down here so um down there so that's why we got to spray but now, for that kind of spraying, like I said, you use the wand and you drive along. For spraying a field or something, you use your boomless sprayer. But anyways, enough on that. I think I'm just going to kind of set the camera up and just kind of show you me spraying the grass area here. that's it it was uh this is about 20 minutes later and i've watered the whole area now and 
we are out of water and I tell you um, you know doing this for 20 minutes a day um, for a couple weeks is a whole lot better than getting about 20% germination you know leaving this up to mother nature and rain and getting about 20% germination and having to come back in the fall and throw more seed on it and um, probably have to do it again in the spring and so forth so this is um, you know like I say 20 minutes a day now putting a little time now saves you a lot of time later and uh, actually let me show you over here all right guys so there's the four-wheeler just a reference point I'm looking across here okay it's been a really dry spring and I like I said I wasn't even gonna water this at all and then I said you know shoot why not whatever but let me tell you look at this this is on day I think we're right at a week okay and I hope this comes up on camera look at all we've got coming up there I mean look at that okay there's no way that we would have had that success if we didn't water this I mean it has been dry so um, anyways I wanted to show you, show you all that alright guys well that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for tuning in to the skyline acres channel um, like I said we're gonna there's kinda gonna be a part two to this because I think the next video is gonna be how to um, get trees established there's a tulip poplar we put in um, so anyways getting trees established using that system ah, can't hardly point right there so anyways um, if you guys like this kind of content please feel free to smash that like button and think about subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more content like it anyhow thank you and see you next time